Say morning, grade 10 students. Welcome to Valenzuela live streaming. I'm your teacher for today. I'm Mam Nelly D. Alvarez from Alinta National High School. Last meeting, your EBI teacher discussed about the uses of electromagnetic waves such as UV rays, X-rays, and gamma rays. In today's lessons, our objectives are classify EM waves as ionizing and non-ionizing radiation using energy level. Express the effect of EM waves applications in our living things and the environment. Evil weights, the risks and benefits derived from the applications of EM waves. And explain the principles of EM radiations, safety and its importance in society. How open do you use your cell phone? Do you agree that cell phone emits radiations? What kind of radiations your phone emits? Do you sleep with your earphone in your ears? All these questions are part of our discussions regarding the effects of EM radiations. Now, let us define EM radiations. EM radiation is an energy that is propagated through free space or through a material medium in a form of electromagnetic wave, such as radio waves, visible light, and the gamma rays. It consists of both electromagnetic and electric field, and they are coming from a natural and man-made resources. There are two classifications of the EM waves. One is non-ionizing, and the other one is the ionizing radiations. Ionizing radiations has a high energy compared to a non-ionizing radiations. It has a frequency ranging from 1 petahertz or 1 times 10 to the 15 hertz to 10 zettahertz or 1.0 times 10 to the 21 hertz, which include X-rays and gamma rays. While a non-ionizing radiations have a low frequency ranging from 2 to 1,000 of zettahertz, and it consists of a microwave, infrared, visible light, and the ultraviolet rays. It has a low frequency and a low energy. And for our first activity, we are going to classify the EM spectrum if ionizing and non-ionizing radiation. You may key in your answer on the comment box. I'll give you five seconds for each given. Let's start with the ultraviolet. Timer start now. Okay, time is up. What is the answer? Okay, very good. Ionizing. Next is radio wave. Timer starts now. Okay, time is up. What is the answer? Yes, non-ionizing. Next is infrared. Timer starts now. Okay, time is up. So what is the answer? The answer is non-ionizing. Next is gamma rays. Timer start now. Okay, time is up. What is the answer? Yes, it is ionizing. The last but not the least is x-rays. 
Timer, start now. Okay, what is the answer? Correct, ionizing. Good job, students! Let us talk about the EM radiations, the applications of EM radiations to organism and living things. Radiations can be divided into two types. The somatic damage or what we call radiation sickness. It refers to the damage of the cells that are not associated with reproduction. The extent of the somatic damage in humans depend on the body exposed as well as the age of the individual. The younger the individual, the more it is susceptible, he or she, with the somatic damage. Indeed, the most dangerous radiation doses are those received prior to birth, so that pregnant women must especially wary of exposure to unnecessary radiations. The effect of these radiations are the following, reddening of the skin, loss of hair, ulcerations, fibrosis of the lungs, formations of the holes in tissues, and reductions of the white blood cells, and the inductions of the cataract in the eyes. The damage can also result in cancers and death. While the next one is the genetic damage, which refers to the damage of the cells that are associated with reproduction. This damage can be resolved from mutations of offspring. Ionizing high-energy radiation is particularly dangerous because it can be severely damaged to human. In insufficient high doses of radiation can cause sickness and death. Okay, so what about the effect of this to the environment? So we have the nuclear fallout. Fallout is a residual radioactive materials propelled from the upper atmosphere following the nuclear blast, like the carbon-14, iodine-131, cesium-137, and strontium-90. And if you can still remember the Chernobyl disasters, now, these are the nuclear reactor blasts that happen when there is an explosion of the nuclear power plant in the Union Soviet in the year 1986 of April 26. How did Chernobyl affect the world? The worst nuclear accident to date is the Chernobyl disaster and had far-reaching economic effects. Some of these hasten the end of the USSR. The radioactive clouds spread over Europe, contaminating the food sources. But despite of this Chernobyl, some government and scientists still advocates the nuclear power plants. Remember that particles travel around the world. So it can cause bad effects to both organism and environment. Okay, so do you know that the most common resources of electromagnetic field that we everyday experience, which is benefited to humans, are the solar radiations and the electric current, which supplies our household, like your cell phone, your televisions, your Wi-Fi, and your computers. Artificial resources are also used to generate high level of electromagnetic radiations, which may be typically found in medical devices such as magnetic resonance imaging or what we call MRI. The laser lithotripsy. X-ray computed topography or the CT scan. We have radiotherapy. And we have the chemotherapy. Take note that both it must be more benefit than more risk. And for our second activity class, write the word appear if the statement is benefit from the applications of EM waves. 
and right disappear if it is raised from EM waves? Write your answer on the comment box. I'll give you five seconds for each number. Let's start with number one. X-ray, damage cells, and cause cancer. Timer start now. All right, so what is the answer? Correct, it is disappear. Next, gamma rays are used to treat cancers. Go, key in your answer. What is the answer? Yes, that's correct. It's a beer. Next. Infrared vision is used for a night vision and security camera as it is visible in daytime and nighttime. Go. Write your answer on the comment box. All right, so what is the answer? That is correct. Appear. Next number, UBC is a germicidal destroying bacteria, viruses, and molds in the air and in water and in other surfaces. Go write your answer on the comment box. Okay, so what is the answer? That is correct. Appear. The last but not the least, X-rays detects bone breaks. Go key in your answer. All right, so that's correct. That is appear. Good job, students. How can you protect yourself from radiations? Understanding the causes and seriousness of risk can help us to reduce likelihood or probability of severe problem. One of the best ways to prepare is to understand radiation protection principles of time, distance, and shielding. So what is time? It is a very important that we have to limit or minimize our time to expose to radiations. For example, reduce electromagnetic radiation exposure from your cell phone. At this time, scientific evidence has not yet found a link between your cell phone and the human health problem. But more research is needed to be sure. But if still you have concern that you can reduce how much time you can spend to your phone. You can also use your speaker mode or your headset to place more distance between your head and your cell phone. What about distance? Moving farther away from the source of radiation reduces your exposure to radiation. For example, maintaining a greater distance from the X-ray generator is a very effective method for radiation safety. The greater the distance from the radiation source can reduce radiation exposure. The amount of radiation exposure is not inversely proportional to the distance from radiation source, but inversely proportional to the square of distance. This means that you double the distance from the radiation source can reduce the radiation exposure to one half but to one fourth. Therefore, maintaining the greater distance from generator is a very effective method of radiation safety. A previous study of radiographer two steps behind the mobile support structure can decrease the exposures of radioactive materials from 80% and in other study being 20 centimeter farther away from the center of the x-ray or x-ray field can decrease this radiation exposure for about 73% next is shield shield 
Lead is a chemical element that can a carbon group with a symbol of Pb and atomic number of 82. A high density of lead, 11.34 grams per cubic centimeter, make its use as a shield against X-rays and the gamma rays. Lead is a pure form. It is brittle and cannot be worn as an apparel. Okay, so does water block radiations? That according to the report on the topic prepared for the DOE back of 1997, a layer of water 77 centimeter thick reduces the ionizing radiations, such as rays and particles, which transmitted through it by half. The remainder is captured by the moderated to non-ionizing energy, which is mainly heat. Concrete. Concrete is a shielding reduces intensity of radiation depending on the thickness and the density of the concrete structure. Moreover, with the high density materials, you can reduce radiation faster. So, how can you protect yourself from nuclear radiations and radioactive radiations? One, you have to stay inside while reduce your exposure to radiation. Two, you can close your windows and doors. Three, you can take shower or wipe exposed part of your body with a damp cloth. And four, you can drink bottled water and eat food with sealed container. And number five, stay tuned. Follow the advice of emergency responders and officials. And to sum up, again, EM waves are classified into two, ionizing and non-ionizing radiation using energy level. Radiations can be a natural or a man-made. Radiations can have a good and bad effect to human. One is cell death. Two, it can be cell transformations. And it can also have an effect to environment like what happened to Chernobyl disasters or nuclear power plants. And lastly, what do we do during emergency? Get inside. Stay inside. And stay tuned. All right. So for the question and answer, you have to write your answer or rather your questions on the comment box. Let us wait for the moderator to choose for the three questions. Okay, so the moderator has chosen the first question. And the first question is from Parada National High School. What symptoms does radiation cause? All right. So the severity and signs, symptoms of radiation sickness depend on how much radiation you have to absorb. How much you absorb also depends on the strength of radiated energy, the time of your exposure, the distance between you and the source of radiations. The initial sign and symptoms are nausea and vomiting. You can have fever and diarrhea, headache. Sometimes you feel dizziness and disorientations. You can have weakness and fatigue. You can have hair loss. Some have bloody vomit and stool from internal bleeding. And for the next question is from Malinta National High School. When do people need to be treated for radiation, exposure, and contaminations. Thank you for the question. If someone has been exposed to radiation, they should seek a medical advice to determine what, if any, treatment is needed. But based on the type of radiations, the situations, the patient symptoms, how long the person was exposed, and whether 
he or she is contaminated. A physician, open associated with irrigation expert, known as health physicist, will provide the patient with information what treatment may be needed. And for the third questions and the last questions is from Lingunan National High School. How do I protect myself from home radiations? Okay, so use your airplane mode open as possible. Do not sleep with your cell phone near you. Keep your phone away from your body. Keep the phone away from your head. Avoid the product that claims black radio frequency energy. Reduce cell phone use when the signal is weak and the last you have to remove your headset when it is not on call and for the next questions that cannot be entertained will be discussed by your online teachers and i would like to end up my lessons by sharing the quote from venus polling there is no safe amount of rotations even a small amount can do harm. Thank you. God bless and stay safe. Bye-bye.